In the year 1990, NASA has sent a telescope to the space which is called Hubble Telescope to unravel the mysteries of the universe. In space exploration, Hubble Telescope has played a crucial role. It has changed our fundamental understanding of the universe by observing some of the most distant stars, galaxies and planets in our solar system. In these 30 years, Hubble has solved many mysteries related to space and raised some new questions. But scientists have realized that Hubble is not enough to solve these mysteries and decided to make a even more powerful telescope. More than 1000 scientists spent 25 years and developed a telescope which we call James Webb Space Telescope or simply called as JWST. It is 100 times more powerful than the Hubble telescope. For instance, if we assume there is a small fly on the surface of the moon, the optics of James Webb telescope can sense the heat energy coming from the fly's body. The cost of making it is approximately 10 billion dollars. Why did it cost so much? What are special features of it? Will it solve the mysteries of the birth of the universe? Please watch this video till the end to find out. In a way, these telescopes can be called time machines. Let me explain why. The light travels at a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. So it takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for light to reach earth from the sun, which means the light we see now was produced by sun 8 minutes and 20 seconds ago. So the sun that is visible now is 8 minutes from the past. In this way, as the distance we see increases, it means that we are looking further into the past. Following the same principle, these telescopes are looking at the light emitted from the stars and galaxies a few million years ago, which means they are looking into the past billions of years. If you are wondering why spend so much money to send a telescope into the space when we can observe the universe from the earth itself. The reason is light pollution, clouds, dust in the atmosphere of earth come in the way and the images will not be captured properly. But if you put this telescope in the space outside the earth there are no obstacles so the photos will be clear the hubble telescope is placed at a distance of about 550 kilometers from our earth but the james webb telescope is at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers from our earth it is placed at a place called l2 that is lagrange point 2 which is 1.5 million kilometers away from the earth These Lagrange points are very special points where gravity is stable so the satellite can stay in that position with very little fuel and mission life increases. There are five such Lagrange points between sun and earth. The reason for choosing L2 point is if light from the sun hits this James Webb telescope directly it will not work effectively. So James Webb should have no light. The L2 point is located in areas where the sun does not shine like it does on earth. That is why James Webb is placed here. Great care has been taken in making and launching the space telescope because when Hubble was launched in 1990 the main mirror in it had been ground incorrectly resulting in blurred photos. Later in 1993 astronauts went on servicing mission to correct the optics to their intended quality. Hubble is only 550 kilometers away from Earth, so it was possible. But if there is any problem in James Webb telescope, it is 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth, and it is not possible to send astronauts there to fix it. That's why mirrors in James Webb telescope are arranged so that they can adjust themselves. The James Webb was built with much more advanced technology than the Hubble telescope. This is the largest and most powerful telescope ever launched. For example, There are hundreds of galaxies in this single photo taken by Hubble telescope. This is the oldest galaxy among them all. It is a galaxy formed 13.4 billion years ago. That means a galaxy formed 400 million years after the Big Bang. There are many more galaxies formed even before, but the Hubble telescope could not photograph them. That's because the Hubble telescope can only capture visible light, ultraviolet rays and very less infrared light. The stars and galaxies that formed at the beginning of the universe emits ultraviolet rays. The wavelength of these ultraviolet rays is short, but since this universe has been expanding, these short waves are stretched and has been converted into infrared rays. But as I mentioned earlier, Hubble can only capture visible and UV rays but not much of infrared. That's why the James Webb that is made now has been developed to capture infrared rays only. There is another advantage of infrared rays. The universe is full of gas and dust. The visible light does not travel through this dust and gas. 
but infrared rays can also travel through these dust and gases, so this universe can be studied more clearly. For example, you can notice the difference between a picture taken with visible light and a picture taken with the infrared light. More stars are visible in the picture taken with infrared than the visible light. In this picture, this person's hands are covered, they are not visible in the normal light. But if you look at with the infrared camera, it looks clear because infrared can travel past small obstacles. That is why James Webb was developed based on infrared. It also captures infrared light from stars and galaxies that formed 13.6 billion years ago. James Webb was developed with the aim of finding the first stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. Coming to the features of the telescope, the important part is the mirror. When it's raining outside, the bigger the bucket we can hold, the more water we can collect. Similarly, bigger the telescope mirror, the more light it can capture. The brighter the light, the more detailed photos can be taken. That is why the mirror in James Webb is 6.5 meters long. It is 5.5 times larger than the mirror in the Hubble telescope. It is made of a material called beryllium. It is high in strength and light in weight. Instead of one single big mirror, it has 18 hexagonal foldable segments. This mirror is coated with very thin layer of gold. Gold reflects infrared rays very well, so this mirror has been coated with gold. Next, the most important part in this telescope is the shield. In order for the James Webb telescope to function properly, it must not be exposed to light and heat from the sun. The darker and colder the area, the clearer the telescope can take pictures. So a large shield is installed in it to protect the telescope from the radiation coming from the sun. This shield is about the size of a tennis court and has five layers which are made of a material called Kapton. Each layer is as thin as thickness of our hair but works excellently in reducing the sun radiation. If 200,000 watts of solar radiation from the sun hits one side of this shield, only 0.02 watts of radiation goes to the other side. If one side of this shield has a temperature of 85 degrees Celsius, the other side has a temperature of negative 233 Celsius. Just these thin five layers make such a huge difference in heat. To give an example, we apply the sunscreen to prevent sunburn on our skin. This sunscreen usually has sun protection factor also called as SPF of 30 or 50. Compared to that, the SPF of this shield is 1 million. This telescope to operate correctly, the dark side must have a temperature of minus 233 degrees Celsius. Because if it is hot, infrared rays will be released. To keep it cool, a cryo cooler was used to be cooled by liquid helium. The design is very much impeccable to avoid any vibrations in it. Small vibration in the telescope cause blur images. If we look at its working, first the light coming from the universe is collected by the primary mirror which is 6.5 meters long. It gets reflected and falls on the second mirror. From there, it goes to the third and fourth mirror where the light photons are converted into electrons which are recorded in the data recorder in the telescope and the data is sent to the NASA Deep Space Network on Earth through a radio transmitter. Initially, this project was started with $500 million. It is named after James Edwin Webb, a scientist who successfully completed many NASA science missions. Not only NASA but also the European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency have collaborated and completed this project. This project has been delayed 16 times so far due to various reasons like lack of funds and COVID. $500 million budget has reached $10 billion. Finally, on December 25, 2021, NASA launched the 6,500 kilograms most powerful telescope into the space. This telescope, which is the size of a tennis court and as high as a three-story building, does not fit in a 5.5 meter wide rocket. So it was folded and sent it in an origami fashion. But the main task here is to unfold the folded telescope. For it to unfold correctly, cables, pulleys, gears, springs, bearings all have to work correctly. Any difference will damage the whole project, for which a lot of rehearsals have been done here. When the review board checked it, it found 344 failure points, which means there are 344 chances for it to fail. Just one failure would have wasted $10 billion and 25 years of effort. If any fault occurs when it opens, it is very difficult to fix it because it is too far away for humans to go. There are 50 stages in fully opening this telescope and it takes two weeks to unfold the entire telescope. Even after it goes into the orbit, the telescope will be hot so it will not be used immediately. Its temperature is lowered for a few weeks. After the telescope is cooled down, the exploration begins. The James Webb telescope will serve for the next 10 years. 
Because to maintain this telescope in orbit, the fuel required to function the spacecraft properly is only enough for 10 years. For just 10 years, it may seem a lot to spend billions of dollars over the course of 25 years, but the results will be worth it. The James Webb Space Telescope is going to answer many of the questions we have about the space. By detecting the light from the first stars and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, we can learn about how they formed and evolved. It also studies whether there is a possibility of life on any other planets. By studying the light and spectrum of the stars and planets, the mass, temperature and chemical composition of the object can be determined. It also studies the planets in our solar system more deeply. In simple words, with this telescope, we are going to see the universe in a new light. NASA has promised to release first images taken by James Webb Telescope on July 12, 2022. We have to wait and see what kind of secrets are going to be solved regarding the universe. Ok friends, if you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel, ask me why and activate the bell button next to it to watch more interesting videos.